What's going on, Explorers? It's your boy, Brandon Abandon, 6'4 Explorer, exploring with Herbeck Stickland. I'm at a really cool spot for you guys again today. This is an awesome little time capsule. I'd say half of it's a time capsule, half of it's a little beat up. There's the main floor is kind of sinking, so it's a little bit dangerous. It's in a bit of a public spot and there's a lot of snowmobilers around, so I got the vest on. I wanted to make sure I look a little bit more official than normal, but you guys are gonna love this house. Let's get exploring. show you guys this little bit of a porch before we get into the house some kids toys an old board game an old radio some more cars some old chairs it's a beautiful little porch though to hang out in Windows all the way around. I like it. Very, very cool. And then from here, we get to make our way inside the house. All right, so we came in that door there. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a messy area. Cool picture, old light. Look like we got, what's that, an old sled. A whole bunch of junk, some old chairs. That's cool though. The old croquet set. Got some old tennis rackets too. Looks like everything's there. I always like the old metal furnaces like that. He's got his wicker high. We got a little bit of stained glass. The towels are still hanging up here. This just looks like a bit of a storage room. A whole lot of cool stuff. Look at these old tractors. The old plastic ride ones, pink and orange. His and hers. As you can tell, the rummage fairies have been here. You'll notice. And I guess some of them, they like fishing hooks. But some of that can be quite expensive. The old fishing joints and the old chair. That's pretty cool. Some old life jackets too, I didn't notice that. We got... There's a beer cup. That's pretty snazzy. But it's made in Japan. It's cool that they got a sink in here. And then another sink there. Check out this way first. That's a snazzy coat hanger. A couple ducks. I gotta be real careful with this floor too. The ceiling's coming right down in here. That don't look good. There's some wood holding that other room up. That's not right. The old, the old wallpaper, the nice old tile. And like just still, everything's still there. With the wood. And <laughs> no water. Play 
like even their toothbrushes and everything are still left. This is a true case of just up and left or unfortunately the owners could have passed away and this place is just so far out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe there was no family either. We got a, an attic opening. Heavy stepping on things. I'm trying not to. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything left behind. Paper cups for partying. Quite old. We got an old freezer under there, but I'm not going to be able to open it. There's too much going on on top. Well, Sure, I still could, but nothing's going on. The old candle set. Makes a match with different patterns. New fashion looks. 49 cents. Like the old pillow, the old couch, the old flashlight, cool old phone. I don't know if that's a real phone or a kid's play phone. But it's, it's got everything to make it look real. We got a duck and a, a chicken. Someone decided to store some wood right in the middle of here. They like their ducks and their geese. It seems to be all over everything. Very cool old porcelain. <laughs> Just foam. This is crazy. A whole bunch of water. I guess somebody could have been squatting here at some point. At least he put his dishes back in the in the sink. Oh, I just seen one thing down here I want to grab. Cause it's got a neat a neat color to it. Check that out. The Canomatic doesn't even have a date. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not awesome? That's the most beautiful color, that blue. Let me turn this off for a second. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. The Canomatic. Very cool. <laughs> milk paint red. Milk paint white. I'm not sure what milk paint is. stuff hanging from the roof I just got one stuck on my camera the old eye uh, the old uh, kettle very cool got an old bell it's a pretty heavy duty a little premium mango tea this could have been a nice wooden table here before it was flipped over but still, all the curtains are up on all the windows. Real old fridge. Mouse and rat killer. An old TV just sitting in the way here. And this is what I'm talking about as we get out here. It's a little bit scary. I guess scary is not the word. It's more unsafe is the word. 
Do you see that? There's no basement here, so we're not going to be able to go down. As you can tell, it's just a crawl space. We're way out, way out in the bush. Way out in the bush, way up north. There's no, uh... There's no plumbing, really. So there's no underground. Seems to be a lot of crawl spaces. Look at that old light there. Very cool. Tiny little bathroom. Stuff being stored. Let's, uh... Thursday, June 9th, 1986. And this house, as you can tell, it's dated. It's been abandoned for a long time. I'd almost say 1986 is probably going to be a good guess. So I'm going to close that door so that we can walk as tight as we can up against this wall. Look at all these books and kids' toys. Whatever that old machine is here. Almost like a dehumidifier, maybe. We got speakers and some old electronics there. Nice picture. You got a beautiful fan. That fan looks like that could be the newest thing in the house. Okay, and like there's a hole on the ground here, and a mess on the carpet. So. We'll step on the frame here. So we can take a look around. Now there's a closet there. With another door. Can you guys see anything? Is there stuff in there? I'll check my camera after and look. But unfortunately I can't go too far. That's nice though, the bed's still pretty much set up. We got a nice old light fixture. And a bunch of Chatelaine magazines right here. Old blankets, quilts. All right. So from here, we'll step over here. Oh man, you can feel it. You can actually feel the ground moving. Not sure what these are. Looks like the legs are something to something. I love this old carpet. That reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> this banister is not very safe. Drapes still up. A little bit set up here. I just want to turn around and show you guys. A nest and an egg inside the house. <laughs> With like a hanging outside light, that's strange. Crib. Well, not a crib, a uh, a walker. <laughs> not a walker, but you know, carriage. Is that the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's awesome when the beds and everything are still made. All these people, they're all into houses with the power on. If it was this old with the power on, that would be cool. Not these newer real estate houses with the power on. Somebody just left the week before. I like this. I prefer a bed still made. Stuff still around the house. Hey, that's cool. I wonder if she had a TV or something in there. Or maybe... 
just a kid was hanging out. That was their little play area. That's pretty awesome. Even the top of this thing's starting to sink. That's some pretty pretty weak wood. Looks like there might be a couple books under here. Oh. And the way that the, the paint's coming down, that's nuts. I love how it's still the same old carpet all through the upstairs. I think that's cool. What's that over in that corner? I'm scared to walk too far into these rooms. I want to stay close to where I know the the joists are underneath me. I do not want to end up falling through this floor. A lot of old kids books. Very, very cool. 10 cents for John Mouse down on the farm. Boy, that's cool. Very, very cool. Makes me wonder so much what happened. Especially, too, these are kids' beds. But again, we're way out here. So these people, they could have won the lottery. They could have just, just gotten paid for the land and decided, hey, let's go. Because it's in an area that the properties have been getting bought up over years and years and years. This is cool. And it's like all kids stuff too. Which has me even more curious. Everything's on a slant. The whole floor. All the clothes. Somebody opened this one up to see who this guy was. Him, her, who knows nowadays. Well, that's pretty cool. If you know the names to all these dolls, let me know. It's always fun to see your comments. It's always good to learn new things. Let's just see if this is anything. Yeah. That's nice. That's worth turning over. Hello, everybody. I know Elmo, but then I know the Smurfs. I'm guessing that's Raggedy Ann. We got the three bears in there. We got this thing. It's like a paper mache potato. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. This little crib set up. Hey, at least they gave him a lot of toys. A lot of stuffed animals in there. Be a party every time. That's cool. Very, very cool. Got a few more wooden toys. And it's cool, this crib with the metal. The metal on the sides. I got the little handle. Old school things were a little industrial looking. I love it. I got the good night book. Very, very cool. A 
Let's do one more little walk around up here. And as I said, it only this room's got the same carpet as the hallway. This one's yellow. This one over here, it's it was the same. It's a yellow brown. All right. One more look in here. Curtains, blinds, pillows, books. That's amazing. Amazing. Stroller. Stroller. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Stroller. How things elude you sometimes when you're... When you're looking at a million different things. I'm trying to figure out what everything is in the house as well. I'm in here. Old things. Oh, it's just a picture. I thought maybe it was a card. I could have read something. All right. One more little look here. Yeah, look at this. Not safe. I want to go kind of brace myself to put my leg against it so I wouldn't fall. All right. What a cool house. I walked past this here. I just wanted to show you guys a real old school saw. I think that's very cool. And again with the hard metal, very industrial. Things lasted and they would cut down many more trees. Very cool. All right, everybody. What did you think of that, eh? Very, very cool. I'm going to try to do some research. If I can, I'll put a voice over. But some of these spots are really hard to find information on, especially when people just kind of disappear or if it was just one person that passed away and they had no kids or siblings or anybody to come and help clean up the area. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love documenting spots like this to show you guys. It just it means a little bit more. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. Trying to keep the power close, they hanging by the Pinocchio nose, but no we're in glitch. Instead of saying that, 
shit with your balls and your dick. You stand up for the kids. I'm not condoning the guns. I'm talking light wars. Energy from the sun. Jedi's, where you at? And mortals hack through a map. There's been some failures in the back, but we still need to react. Not from all consciousness. Cause I'm sound was right. We ain't shit. We'll get the same consequence. We gotta fight with the mind power of one. Much like they control sun. We must use the strongest weapon that we never really mastered. Yeah, you know it. Uh-huh. That's right. Love. 